All right, President Bush gives the Bush farewell speech tonight, and we want to discuss the Bush legacy. We have an interesting couple this evening. Sandy State contributor Robert Rice, professor at UCAL Berkeley, and author of Super Capitalism, and Grover Norquist, president of Americans for Tax Reform. Hello, everybody. I mean, uh, I want to cover the stimulus package, too, but first up, Bush's farewell speech and his legacy. Robert Rice, what's your quick take? Well, first of all, let me hold out an olive branch to the president. I, I, it's too easy to pile on right now. You know, 76% of Americans think he did a lousy job. Uh, but I'm going to compliment him, not for his foreign policy, which I think was a disaster, not for his economic policies, which has resulted, in, in my view, in the worst economy we've had since the Depression, uh, not for his uh, civil rights or civil liberties policies, which have been absolutely abhorrent, but for his willingness to drop his proposal to privatize Social Security, which would have been awful. Trevor Norquist, is that damned with faint praise? Uh, well, I didn't hear any praise at all. Look, uh, Bush has several legacies on spending. It's horrific. He spent too much. Uh, more government employees were hired. Uh, he walks out the door, leaving all of the bank vaults open uh, when the real professional looters are going to come in. That's what you're seeing with this spending program. It's not a stimulus program. It's a spending program. And that's a disaster. He had a temporary tax cut that temporarily did very good things for the market. But as soon as the Democrats took the House and the Senate, you knew it was disappearing. And the market said if you jump in the capital gains tax and the dividend tax up, the value of the stock market started to fall. And uh, all of the gains from the tax cut are wiped out because they're temporary. The Grover, I would say, uh, look. President Bush has done some good things, in my opinion. He's done some not such good things, in my opinion. But i got to give him credit for tax cuts post-9-11. He inherited a recession. We did have five unbelievable bull market years in stocks. We did have a six-year recovery. And by the way, Grover, those tax rates are going to stay in place, those lower tax rates in 2009 and 2010. And I'm going to wait and see whether the Democrats uh, repeal them or not. Don't you give Bush any credit for supply-side tax cuts, at least in 2003? In the 2003 tax cuts were supply-side and very good. Why do you wait two years? Second, because he threw away the House and the Senate because of the rest of the way he governed, we got a Democratic House, a Democratic Senate, and they are not going to let us keep those lower rates. They pant for higher tax rates because they want them. Robert Rice, uh, I want to give President Bush some credit for protecting the homeland. We have now had, what, seven full years since 9-11, and I think that he deserves some credit on that. Well, I, I do too, Larry. Uh, unfortunately for him, it's hard to prove a counterfactual. That is, we don't know what would have happened without uh, what I consider to be a total disaster in Iraq. And we don't know exactly what would have happened uh, similarly without TARP, uh, which I also consider a disaster. TARP number one. Uh, so uh, it has at least, I suppose, the benefit of the doubt if you are willing to say without the fairly disastrous things he did, things could have been even worse. But that's kind of a stretch, isn't it? Well, I don't think it's a stretch, frankly. I think he made a lot of structural reforms. We don't have the time to delve into it in any great detail. Uh, I agree he made some mistakes, but again, I think he did some good things. Uh, Grover Norquist, Robert Rice mentioned TARP. He doesn't like TARP probably any more than you do or I do. And I want to ask you, TARP plus the Democrat stimulus package unveiled today. Will the stimulus package stimulate, Grover? No, it's, it's a massive spending program. Stimulus, when they put stimulus in front of spending, it's some Latin prefix, which means don't pay too much attention to what we're spending the money on. I thought government spending was the new elixir for economic growth in Washington, Grover. Except it's not very new. The Democrats are always whining that Republicans want to go to Reagan. Their ideas go back to, to Herbert Hoover, that if you spend money somehow... If you take money out of the economy over here and you spend it over here, we'll all get rich. It's laughable. It doesn't work. It's very painful. And we're in for some rough sledding because the Democrats are going to continue the worst excesses of the Bush years and double and triple the mistakes. Robert Rice, 